<laughs> Hello. Been a while since I've shown my face. <laughs> um, hang on. on my face on stream, I figured why not take a break from being a VTuber. I continue Tales for Syria. What am I doing? I forgot. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses have guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course! Hmm. And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist okay. named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, mm. not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priest as she's talking about? I don't know. Uh, what's this? Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. Oh, I on. just... I happened to overhear huh? you while talking about going to Palamedes and... Yeah. What's... Their Did problem? Did you report us to the Abbey? Their problem? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. If you have any business, talk with her then. <laughs> I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I almost dropped my phone. I want you to look for someone. Who? Does somebody missing? A mother missing? and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. They've both gone missing? Uh-oh. Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's Mahina. a priestess of Amenoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amenoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to mm. make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared too. That's not good. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh, no, ma'am. I just... 
I, I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamoana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. Okay. I will do everything in my power to find them. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Kamoana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help yeah. but worry for them. Of course. Hmm. Let's be off, Miss Exorcist. <laughs> okay. Eleanor, what's your game here? The mother and daughter, you mean? That's on me. I'll search for them myself. Hmm. I don't care about that. Well, what then? Why are you actively helping us decipher the book when we're using it to thwart the Abbey's plans? You think yeah. I might be deliberately misleading you? Laying a trap of some sort for you all? Are you? Well, are you? I think you're a lot of things, demon. But foolish is not one of them. <laughs> hmm. I want to know the truth. I want to know what Lord Artorius is trying to accomplish. And there's something happening in the world right now. I want to know what it is. Unfortunately, little old Eleanor has never been deemed trustworthy enough to be given such information. So, okay. my only option is to find out for myself. You've got the soul searching down at least. Hmm. The Abbey and your band of rogues follow two different paths. But something tells me either will lead me to the same destination. And so you don't see any need to lie to us? Exactly. And what'll you do if those truths don't line up cleanly with what you believe? I'm... Mm. not sure yet. As honest an answer as any. Either way, it looks like you'll be working with us for the near future. <laughs> yes. For now. Hey, could I ask you something? What is it? What is it? About the Therians. I've heard you call yourself a Therian before. Is there any particular insight you have about them? No. No, none. not exactly. Artorius not really. said I was one, that's all. And that doesn't bother you? Does it bother you? Nope, not at all. If you're not worried, then neither am I. I'm surrounded by freaks. <laughs> but was that truly the reason Ceres chose me? Um, I don't know. Velvet keeps picking on Madame Eleanor. They're total opposites, so I know they're just gonna clash sometimes, but Velvet takes it too far! You really think they're totally opposite? If Madame Eleanor is a white lily, then Velvet is a black rose. Okay. If Madame Eleanor is a soaring pegasus, then Velvet is a wolf in the shadows. If Madame Eleanor is a plate of spaghetti okay. carbonara, Velvet is squid ink noodles with seaweed. I don't follow you completely, no. but I think I get the point. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. The two have nothing at all in common. And since they don't share anything in common, some fighting now and then just can't be helped. Well, they both have beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're talking a noble exorcist and an aloof demon. Eleanor sometimes treats you coldly. And Velvet has helped me more times than I can count. True. Madam Eleanor gives herself fully to the salvation of others. But Velvet is bent solely on revenge. That means they're both motivated by thoughts of others. <laughs> How is the cheerful and talkative Madam Eleanor at all the same as the brooding, taciturn Velvet? <laughs> both of them talk to me when it's just the two of us together. You're just I mean... trying to be contrary. I'm only telling you what I've experienced. True. Yeah. Actually, I feel that Madame Eleanor isn't really reaching out to me. 
It's all right if Eleanor doesn't want to talk to you. I'm here for Aww. you, Bienfu. You aren't alone. That just makes me feel lonelier. <laughs> Be you two are opposites yourselves. Huh? Huh? <laughs> You okay. better be ready. Devour! Oh, 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 finish! Oh, break! Oh, 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 take that! Oh, Devour! Oh, oh, blade! Crash oh, through! Oh, finish! Oh, oh, break! Hold stop! Hold it! Hold stop! 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 Hold Is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. <laughs> All right, now where am I going? Ooh, give me. And what's over here? Oh, what's this? Hidden art that splits the earth with a shockwave thrust limits the... Hmm. Hey! Crash the wall! Hey! No escape! See this? Come! Hey! Caught you! Hey! Powerful enemy.
connect all of this. I am not going to fight that thing, whatever that is over there. This way. This rocky shore hmm. just keeps going. Just don't step on any sea slugs, okay? Why not? Okay. What's Why the not? big deal? It's just that it isn't pretty. Their insides squish everywhere. Yikes. That sounds pretty traumatizing. Then again, if you pickle their innards, it makes for a great snack. You eat them? Oh, you don't be a baby. You've had worse. Forget the sea slugs. Try not to step on the coral. Good point. Okay. Coral is alive and needs our protection. Or maybe it's because some of it can be sold for jewelry. I didn't mean either of those reasons. Although okay. Manon appears similar to Maclear Beach, it was formed by a completely different process. Now that you mention it, this area is covered by rocks. Maclear is just your average seashore. But Manon here was made by the slow corrosion of seaside caves. They were worn away by the waves? They that were? too. But mainly, it was the handiwork of a rock-eating species of coral known as ravening table coral. Stay in contact long enough, and they'll melt your flesh right off. Okay. Ah, so that's why it tangles every time I touch the coral. <laughs> why didn't you warn us earlier? Yeah. all my power. Maybe I overdid it. <laughs> no, you didn't overdo it. before I go to sleep, since it's nocturnal. Hmm. How long are you going to keep on calling it a rhino stagros? 
I don't Why? know. It's a new kind of beetle, so it's gonna be hard to tell if it's really a rhino or a stag. You're asking a lot of questions. Bienfu, <laughs> do you like bugs? Duh! I love rhinoceros and stag beetles both! What guy doesn't find them fascinating? Right? <laughs> so which kind of beetle do you think it is? Rhino or a stag? I don't know. Oh, that's a tough question. But guess what? what? Miss Mugilu taught me a surefire way to tell. I didn't oh, yeah? know there was a way to tell. How? Yeah, but if I do it, you gotta name it after me, all right? Uh... Come on! What guy doesn't wish he had a cool bug named after himself, <laughs> right? And besides, Miss Mugilu told me that this technique is so good that oh, it's boy. only fair to have a bug named after you in return. So what do you say, man to man? Come on, let's live the dream! Oh, all right. <laughs> How can I say no to that? Besides, we all did work together to capture it anyway. True. Yay! Thanks, Laffy Set. All right, show me the bug, and I'll tell you what it is. Miss Mogilu says you need to open up its outer wings and get a good whiff of the thin underwings. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure I remember rhinoceros and stag beetles smelling really nasty under their oh wings. What? Is it really that bad? Why not find out for yourself? <laughs> uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Maybe you shouldn't do this after all, Bienfu. You probably just want to hog the name all to yourself. Well, too bad. A real man never goes back on his word. If it packs a mean punch, then it's a rhinoceros beetle. And if it smells really zesty, then it's a stag beetle. I don't okay. know about this. Just let him do it, Laffy said. He's already volunteered. True. I can do this? Just you watch. <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> this smell is the most bad, bad thing that ever bad, bad in it. Whoa, he fainted with his eyes still open. Hey, wake up. Wake up, Bianfu. Miss Mogilu, as soon as I smelled it, oh, my nose literally exploded. He looks like he's having a bad dream. Oh, boy. <laughs> I spy with my little eyes a kiddo who's spying at my bewitching waist. Oh, sorry. I okay. just couldn't help it. What are those books anyway? Oh, that's a great question. Since you asked, I'll reveal the secrets of my tomes just for you. On the right, I've got my household ledger in the back and my magic encyclopedia in the front. That one I mostly use for oil blotting paper. What's oil blotting paper? Mm -hmm. It's a girl thing. The two on the left are my heavy book, which I use for flower pressings, and then my super pop-up book. A super pop-up book? When you okay. open it, it pops out with the force of a raging river! When an enemy has me cornered, I can just open it up facing a nearby wall and pop! Instant getaway! The only downside okay. is that it's a real pain to try to get closed again, so I haven't used it in years. What about the book right in front? That's actually Lair Cake. Whoa, really? Seared into its batter are precious bits of knowledge. Eating it is just as good for your brain as it is for your stomach. Wow, I had no idea that was possible. He's taking this so seriously, I almost feel bad. All of your books are so interesting, Moggy Lou. That's really cool. There's no end to your curiosity, is there? <laughs> what do you say? Want to take a closer look? Boy, would I. If you really do, then say, Mogilu, I want to get to know you better. Oh, gosh. Mogilu, I want to get to know you better. All right, I accept. I'll reveal to you my most private secrets. Wow, so that's what's on the other side of these books. I oh, wouldn't gosh. have ever guessed that. What the? What are you doing with Lofty Set? He said he wanted to see, so I'm showing him. You have no right to stand Goodness. in the way of his desires. It's my job to protect him as his vessel, especially from someone so wicked as yourself. Also, what you're doing runs contrary to public decency, which is aren't supposed to be decent. <laughs> These bindings with the locks on them. This style used to be really popular during the Meliodas dynasty. 
Now that I know you're such a bad influence for him, <laughs> I'll be keeping a closer eye on you. If you can't learn okay. to take it easy, nobody's ever gonna want to marry you, you know. Like you're a shining example of marriage material yourself. Hey, Mogilu, could you turn them over one more time? I want to see how the book's attached to your belt. Yeah, sure. <sighs> oh, boy. Hmm? Hey, Mogilu, I was wondering about that book you have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book. For flower pressing. The dialogue in this game. Your curiosity swear. truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. Hmm. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the east, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the west, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. Okay. That's heavy stuff. Yeah. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers. It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. Mogilu, your face has gone all sinister looking. <laughs> Let's see. Ready for this. that! Devour! Devour! Better watch your step! Finish! Lapping Raven! Twin Whip! 
Even a short weapon is effective up close. And training can help it get even closer. Mine gets okay. as long as I want it to be. Don't get careless! Power! Armor Crusher! Finish! See this? Maelstrom! Got you! Twin Whip! Crash through! See this? Twin Whip! Twin Whip! Maelstrom! Got you! Take that! Devour! Twin Whip! Finish! Back Here's true! Twin Whip! Twin Whip! Twin Whip! Twin Whip! Twin Whip! Twin Whip! It won't Ooh, change that. anything. over here. Oh. Return that. How about it, Laffy said? Hmm? Picking up on anything? Yeah. In the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. Interesting. Don't get overconfident. Devour! See this? Devour! Take that! Devour. Take that. 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 Take Twin whip! Twin whip! Twin whip! Twin whip! Take that! Devour! Out of my way! Take that! And tear! Got you! Finish! Break boots! Got you! Take that! Devour! Finish! Break boots! Twin whip! Twin whip! Twin whip! Twin whip! Twin whip! This fight is over! What's this? What? Oh. 
Give me these. Almost there. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Made it. What's this? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that does not sound good. <gasps> A demon. The demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. True. Look outside! It's the ocean! <laughs> this was a place of worship for Amenoch, the Water Empyrean. The, the ancients Empyrean. built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't yeah, split how? the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believed that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? <gasps> Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would okay. coastal ruins sink into the ocean? Yeah, how? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. <laughs> Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No. I only read the first edition. The problem mm. with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. <laughs> uh, I will then. So, wait. Was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. Yeah. Hmm? There's no Empyrean here, right, Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails. <laughs> like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. Mm. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Okay. Be that as it may, Enominot certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominot must be a special case, then. Must be. Must be, I yeah. suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Oh, why, hello. Beatable. On to battle! Devour! It's yes, oh, oh, shake the heavens! Oh, yeah. yes. We're on top! Move like Cyclone! We're on top! We're on top! Ow! We're on top! Running down! Shake the heavens! Blade, Pierce Drew! Maelstrom! Twin Wing! Blade, Pierce! No mercy! Wounds 
wounds that won't heal. Cars into flesh. Lethal pain. Oh, oh, it's true. Maelstrom. Turn away. Really tough. Really tough. Take that. Devour. Wait, here's true. Slow down. Maelstrom. Psycho. Shake the heavens. Take that. Devour. Here's true. Maelstrom. be dried by flame and its mark turned white the any waters shall lie still obeying the path before you On to battle! Okay, see this? <laughs> 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 see this? here. When 
a chalice is filled with water, the waterfall connected to it flows, blocking the way through using fire to boil water away the water will halt the waterfall and allow you to move onward. It is said these chalices sometimes serve other purposes as well. Okay. What about on the other side? I'm guessing that door's gonna be for this one. Everyone ready to play? Devour! Ready to play? You're the best lever! Hold stuff! Hurricane! Got you! Twin whip! Hurricane! Hurricane! Twin whip! 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 Like no one is injured. Anything in this room? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So we opened both sides. Uh, so let's go back. We'll start from over here. A jewel is in, embed, embed, in, embedded in, okay. Okay. Almost went the wrong way. Can we place this thing that we found in here? Now we can go that way. Oh, hello. Well, it wiped out the security for us, but... But... <sighs> well, look at that. Wolfie's got the crest of Amenoch. The same pendant worn by priestesses. Hmm. Then that makes this demon... Yeah, she must be the missing mother, Mahina. Uh-oh. It can't be. Oh boy. Pierce! Don't just stand there. It's gonna eat you. I know that. Oh, 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 oh,
You won't get away. Don't you don't you don't I'll don't stop you. Uh, 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 See this? Come. Uh, uh, no escape. Uh, Feel the burn? See this? Deception. No escape. her village would become a demon. Eleanor? Hmm? She's never going to be the same again. This is the least I can do for her. So says Reason. What? Huh? That feeling. <laughs> huh? Damn! Let the demon be. We don't need it. Okay, then. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Everyone ready to play? See this? I'm here that hmm? demon I guess she caught demon blight when she was looking for her daughter yeah yeah that's what the girl at the inn said but even after turning into a demon she's still searching for her daughter hmm well Rokuro Kuragane and Dial all remember what they wanted when they were human right demon or not she's a mother it's no I mean, surprise she would still be protective of her child. Yeah. It could be that. Or it could be something else. Well, I hope that's what it is. Yeah. I know that must be how she felt as a human. But demons don't have a sense of motherhood or any such thing. You saw how violent she was. She's not Mahina anymore. When she became a demon, she lost all capacity for empathy and love. It's heartbreaking. But it's the truth. Okay. Velvet and Rokuro still have empathy. One demon left unchecked could take a hundred lives. And this one's even willing to attack exorcists. Demons can wipe out entire villages, even cities, just as they destroyed my village. Uh. Hmm. Thus, my path is clear. Eleanor is right. There's no turning back once you've changed. Perhaps it would be a mercy to grant her peace through death. Huh. Hmm. Is Inomi not really an Empyrean? What makes you ask that all of a sudden? Well, according to the song Grimm deciphered, Inomi not is an eight-headed dragon, right? The Empyreans are supposed to be these holy beings, but using Therians to feed on malevolence sounds more sinister than divine to me. Yeah. You've got a point there. Empyreans are a type of Malachim, and that doesn't seem like any Malak we've seen. And even less so when we're talking an eight-headed dragon. Is it so far-fetched? 
<laughs> what do you think will happen if the Therians come together in one place? Well, it wouldn't well. be good. My guess is they'd merge together into a giant, horrific monster. The mighty beast will attack us with its eight long, snake-like necks and eight heads spitting hellfire! Yikes! I can see your worry. Right? And that's eight heads with only six of us to take them on. It'd be more than we could handle. I'd have to conjure up a double or two. You can do that? Of course not. <laughs> why mention it? Oh! What is it, Lafayette? Do you think each head would act of its own free will? Because if they do, they'd be uncoordinated. Bumping into each other and going this way and that, giving us an opening. If we fight <laughs> as one united whole, True. I know we can win. Yes, if we work hand in hand, victory is ours. Right, everyone? <laughs> huh? Us united? Have you looked at us recently? Uh, well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> You'll be rushed on my blade. You won't get a Got you. You. Yeah, I don't think you're one to talk. <laughs> hmm. It won't open. Is there some sort of trick to it? Well, you could always try busting through it, but I wouldn't. Who knows what sort of traps you might trigger? I know, I know. Yeah. Look at that diamond-shaped stone in the door. Haven't we seen that somewhere else? You're right. It was on the pedestal with that chalice. That huge thing? You must have some sharp eyes there. I was more interested in what was inside that chalice. So, hmm. what? That chalice is the key? Somehow I doubt it'll be that simple. Some stones are colored, and some aren't. It must hold some kind of significance. I think yeah. you're right. Don't waste my time.
Okay then. Always ready to fight. Devour! Paint the dead! Finish! Finish! Discord! Has <laughs> got you! Twin whip! Up with split! Got you! Oh, Ow! See this? Shooting star! Here it comes! Oh, Twin whip! Twin whip! Paint the down red! Got you! Blade! Here's your moon! Twin whip! Crash her! Got you! Twin whip! Moon! Take that! Devour! Fire mine! Better watch your sin! Discord! Eat it! You're wide open! Burn! Up with split! How's that? You're wide open! Deception! That's all. Yeah. If you want to live, get it. Okay then. Let's see what's this way. all this stuff first. The lock of the sacred sealed door is governed by the blue and white jewels of seven chalices. When the jewels of the chalices shine, the jewel of the door shall shine alike. When the seven jewels shine, the you send the way the to the inner hmm. okay oh i challenge you what blade pierce true maelstrom right another day true. shooting star Bridge. But then we can't go that way. Hmm. Interesting.
Okay then. And how do I turn that one off? What am I missing?
Panthers. You'll be rust on my blade! Fire mine! Crimson no Sword! Beast! I said! Healing Blade! Yeah. Here's true! Fall oh, back way. and regroup! You'll be rust on my blade! Devour! Play and hit the world! You won't get away! Just clever! I'll stop you! Hurricane Jade! Got you! Pretty move! Holy Serpent! Shake the heavens! Got you! Here it comes! Got you! Shake the heavens! Got you! Here it comes! 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 No escape! No escape! No wide open! Burn! That's all, huh? Well, that's all! Pressure! Oh, no yes. escape! Go on! Oh, Skies oh, like the god! Illusory veil! He's up cheated! No wide open! Burn! Well, that's all! Pressure! See this? Up! Well, that's all! Well, that's all! No wide open! Burn! I'll see this? No wide open! Burn! This is the Reaper's power! I'll stop this! Hurricane! Pressure! Up! Deception! You're wide open! No escape! Deception! Hubble! Killing flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Hubble! There we go. Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. Always ready to fight. Take that! Devour! Take that! Rip and tear! Jade Wave! Twin Whip! No escape! Take that! Jade Star! Take that! Rip and tear! Sir! 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 Take that! Devour! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip! Hurry! Take that! Armor Crusher! Got you! Take that! Four kills! Got you! Twin Whip!
Yeah, I can't seem to figure this out, but... I can't seem to remove that one. Try something. Whoops. Don't get careless. Take that. Devour. No. Crash through. Oh, 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 you won't get away. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 Shake Here it comes. Twin whip. Really tough. Twin whip. Shake the heavens. Twin whip. Wasn't up. I seem to remove that. I thought that would do the trick, but...
check you know in case I missed something try something no Yeah, this is really confusing. I just need one more. I just can't seem to figure it out. Second. Cause I can't seem to figure this out. I'm like stuck here.
last time I played this, I got stuck on this part. I might have to figure this out another time because I'm going to take me a because I don't want the rest of this room to be me being stuck on this part. Um, I think I might end it here, maybe try to figure this on my own <laughs> and then continue it when I'm not stuck. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, maybe next Dream I'll be not stuck on this part. <laughs> Cause I can't seem to remember how I got past this and figured it out. Um hope y'all have enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>